we came here with, with a dream and that's what we go for. I think the England team has done really well in former, in former tournaments too. Um, and yes, uh, of course we want to win every game. Uh, I think a lot, last year was really special. I think every, every international window is, is special. And now this is a very special moment too. It's just the team is so energetic and they, they really want to perform every day and, and are so committed and that's just very enjoyable to work with. And I think that's, that's what you need to improve. How excited can we be about this team going into this tournament? Yeah, I think you can be very excited. I think we're in a good place. We see the training sessions when we came here. Um, uh, everyone is getting to the next level again. And of course we had a couple of weeks off and then you have to get started again, you build again. I think we're in a very good place. We have one more week to prepare. We have some animals here too. Just a too. massive turkey just walking around. We're just going to pretend that's yeah, normal, shall we? Yeah, that's very normal here. So maybe a kangaroo will come later. <laughs> But um, no, I th yeah, they're excited. Um, we have the final week then to get prepared for Haiti, and um, yeah, we're absolutely ready to go. Talked previously about the players that aren't here, but when you are here, do you ever think, oh, it would be great if Leah was here or if Beth was here? Because obviously you've, you've become so close to them over the last sort of 18 months. What well, they say all the time is for them, it's really, uh, really sad that they can't make the tournament. For us, it's, we have passed that stage because we're really focusing now. We have 25 players now. We go into the 23, and I'm all the time focusing on those 25 players now because we are going with that team into the tournament. But as a coach, when you found out what happened to them, did you almost have to sort of, you know, kind of forget about the team and just be like, are you okay? And have conversations because I imagine it must be quite tough on a personal level to lose yeah. people that you'll just get on with so well yeah yeah that's hard on a personal level of course you, we have those conversations and you, you hope they're doing well you, you have contact with them and then and then you have to move on because it's your job and unfortunately that's part of top sport too that sometimes players get injured and then you have to move on and other players will step up and uh, get the responsibility and take responsibility and can show what they can do and that's how it works and that's good about this team we move on and players have also shown that at their club club teams and now they're showing it here and hopefully we can show it on the pitch too when it comes to a world cup and the success and the commercial success and, and the eyeballs are you confident that the game will be in a better place when they go into the next world cup cycle with, the, with this world cup i think it's going to be the highest level and especially when you go, go further in the tournament because now we have more uh, countries involved in the tournament i hope it's it's will grow in all the departments of the game but also in society worldwide and with visibility that will help and that will change society and and that also brings up a discussion again that wherever you are wherever you come from if you want to be involved in football um, you should be able to there's always this other factor which is trying to make the game better for others trying to make sport better for, for women, for girls. Yeah. How difficult is that balance going into this? I don't think that's difficult. I think when we're going in the t into the tournament, then it's time to perform. And there's nothing else than perform. So the full focus is on performing. But if you perform at the highest level, that makes visible. And that already makes a change too, I think. Because people watch you all the time. They start talking to you all the time. And, and then afterwards, when, um, when it's finished, then you can use your platform again and to address other things and I think this team is so aware uh, of society you know, that what we saw um, the day after we won the Euros last year and they've done that throughout the whole year uh, but now we all know that now is to focus on football and then afterwards we talk we, we use the platform again to make the world a better place. The players have been focused they've been training every day but you've given them a little bit of downtime as well they, they seem to be enjoying sort of Aussie life Quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, they do. Um, of course, we're working hard, but I think the balance between working really hard and being focused and and improve uh, and having some time off, some time off to switch off and get some headspace is really important too because we're not robots. Are you getting a chance to actually sort of, you know, get yeah, out there. Yeah, I was there too. Um, I went whale watching, so we had one day uh, off feet. So uh, I did go with the group with the whale watching. It was really nice. And the beach is on walk distance, so uh, I sometimes go to the beach quick, uh, have a little dive in the sea and then come back. Did you get the feeling that this is going to be probably the biggest World Cup ever? Yeah, I think with the growth of the game, 
Uh, I think it will be. If you see uh, already how many tickets have been sold, um, uh, how people are talking about it here. Uh, but also not only here, but what you see in the media coming through. So I think, yeah, it's going to be really big. I suppose when you get to Brisbane, is it going to feel even more real? Yeah, yes, I think so. Uh, but also because then you get really close to the first match. And when you get close to the first match, probably fans will be in the city there. So we see that a little bit more. So you get the vibe. We, all, we already got a little vibe because we had an open training session. There were 3,000 people coming to our training session. Well, we didn't expect that, but 3,000 is a lot, especially when you're at the other side of the world. So that we found that really special, and we just hope that all these fans will come to the games and more, um, and that the, that will um, give them a good game and uh, they enjoy it. Yeah, we thought the Aussies didn't like the English sporting-wise. You're, you're everyone's second favourite team around here. Uh, that, that's, that, that's what it sounds like. Eh? <laughs> yeah, they, well, they were very positive towards us, so I think uh, we're pretty popular.